Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Bishop Steve Walters, and I'm sitting here with Mother Sharon Walters, my lady. Uh -huh. Amen. And so you're here again for another uh, episode of Conversations with Bishop and Mother Walters. Amen. And we're glad to be back with you again. Uh, we've just shared so much over this past year, and we've gone through so much, and the Lord has been good. And we, our intention is that we encourage you, that we strengthen you, and we give you uh, a little insight into the things that we talk about. Amen? Amen. And yeah, and so we use that as a tool to be a blessing to others because it's been, it's really been a blessing to us, yes. you know, as we've been going through like everybody else. Yes. And, you know, us being people in leadership and what have you, a lot of times, you know, people don't know, wow, well, how do y'all make it through? Amen. And so we give you that insight because we communicate, we talk to each other. Maybe I need to talk a little bit more, you know, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but that's what we do. And we share with one another and we encourage one another, you know, and we analyze things as it, you know, from the perspective of the word of God, Amen. because that is our foundation for truth. It is our hope. It is our, um, our guidebook it is it is our culture it amen. is it is you know the word of the lord our god amen it is, it is amen. our way to uh understand and, and and learn of him so that we can communicate better with him yes amen amen all right so we want to welcome everybody in that have been following us and we want to also welcome those that are brand new thank you so much for spending this time with us and we know it's going to be a blessing for you. Yes. Amen. And so we want to share uh, what we all do together. Um, those that are interested in supporting our ministry, we do it in three ways. And so those of you that have been with us, you know exactly, you know how to do this. But those that have not, we want to give you the opportunity, so, should you desire to do so, to support the ministry. How do you do it? I said again, three ways. Yes. Lord. Number one, of course, is financially. And how do you support us financially? We use Cash App. And our Cash App handle is dollar sign Steve B. Walters. Again, our Cash Ash apps, Cash App handle. You know the old guy gets tongue-tied. Tongue -tied, no Go man. ahead, Bishop. The handle is <laughs> dollar sign Steve B. Walters. And then there are those that uh, like to use PayPal. Of course you can use PayPal. Here's the email for the PayPal. It is stevebwalters at gmail.com. Again, it's stevebwalters at gmail.com. All right? And so the second way, how do you do it? You support us spiritually. And all of these ways are so important to us. Yes. They are easy and they are essential. Well, Bishop, you know, get to it now. Come on. All right, I'm, I'm coming. How do you support us spiritually? By asking God to put his blessing upon our ministry. Amen. Amen. How do you do that, Bishop? Say, Lord God, in Pray the name it. of Pray Jesus, it, yes. bless Bishop and Mother Walter's ministry. See, it's that simple and that he sent you. Yes. And so finally, what's the final way? How do you support us? It's physically. Yes. How do you do it, Bishop? Well, you're actually doing it right now by watching and participating and sharing, and sharing uh, these telecasts, these videos. Uh, and also, we want you to comment and like. Yes. And let us know where you're viewing us from and what platform you're viewing us on. Yes. All right? Amen. And, and again, share this. Amen. Let us know. Email us. Let us know yes. whether this has been a blessing to you. Yes. Just communicate with There's us. There's so That's many that are being blessed. So and many. they are, yes. And and we're grateful for that. You know, sometimes, you know, you 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 pour out who you are and you, you and you, and so much of yourself. Your heart is that are we blessing the people? Yes. Are they getting something out of Amen. you know who we are and uh, in Christ? Yes. And what we're sharing. Yes, with our little conversations. Our little conversations. <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
And so let us go into a season of prayer, and yes, we Lord. will certainly, you know, embark on one of the subjects that we've been talking about. Okay. Amen. Okay. All right. Holy One, in the name of Jesus and by your blood, Lord, we thank, thank you, you, and we praise you, and we give your name glory. Dear God, in thy precious, precious name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We ask that you would have your way today. Lord, we love you. We always praise you. We always yes, Lord, give you glory. Yes, we Lord. always give your name the honor. Yes, Lord. Because you are our Yah. Yes, you are Lord our Jesus. God. And Lord, you are our Lord, Abba. Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for our conversations that we have with the people. Yes. You know, our personal conversations we're sharing with them. Yes. Use us today. Yes, Lord. And allow us, Lord, as we talk about what we talk about, Lord, that we would speak something that would be an encouragement yes. and that would strengthen those yes, that Lord are Jesus. the hearers. Jesus. Lord, use us, O oh God, Thank that you, it will Jesus. be a blessing to them. Yes, it will be strengthening. It will be, Lord, edifying to them. Yes, Lord, in the precious Lord, name God, Jesus. in the precious name of Jesus, to that end we yes, pray. Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we give you glory. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So today, we have one of the topics that, you know, we've just been really talking about quite yes. a bit. Yes. You know, and um, we share it with you, and we're just calling it the pandemic. Uh-huh. One year later. Mm -hmm. Now, you know there's a whole lot to talk about there. Amen. Amen, right, Mother? Yes, Lord. <laughs> you yes. know, so much has been happening this past year. Um, we, we, we've been, what have we been doing? We've been shifting. Yes. Uh, and we've been overcoming. Yes. And we've been trusting. And we've been trusting, you know. Shifting, certainly. Lord, have mercy. Y'all yes. know it's been a shift, amen? Yes, Lord Y'all know Jesus. it's been some shifting up in here. Yes, we're yes. shifting. Yes. Yes, God. You know, I mean, the, the pandemic came and, um, around this time of the year, last year. Yeah. Uh, the city shut down at March 13th, I believe. Yes. So we are embarking on that year we're yeah. in that year yes still still going through yeah still a pandemic but god has lifted a little bit yes we lifted a little bit yes so now we can express what we've gone through and what others has gone through amen as amen they're called in and we're talking and and just seeing what's going on yeah overall yeah you know um i i'll never forget um when everything shut down uh you were saying to me is it bishop uh, we got to get online. Oh, yeah. You know? And I'm like, okay. You know, uh, I wasn't all excited about getting online, you no. know, honestly. To just, I really wasn't. You wasn't at you all. Know? But that really was the word of the Lord speaking to me. I just wasn't hearing it at the time. Yes. Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't getting it. Mm -hmm. But but believe me, I heard her say it. Mm -hmm. And the Lord began to, to, to talk to me and, and deal with my heart. And, um, you know, let me know that this is, uh, th this is, this is a different time that this we're living in. This is a new in. way, yes. This is, you know, and we need to move in this direction. Yes, yes, yes. And so I'm really glad that, you know, I listened. Yes. And, and, and prepared myself, you know. Started. Of course, it, it, we're doing it a lot better now, but, you yeah. know, it was, um, it was, it was what it was. Yes, you started teaching but, online, Bible class online, on Zooming and all that. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, you know, and that was a shift. That was, th a, shift. That was a shift. That was yes, a shift. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and people had to stay indoors. Yes, and um, and 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 people were just really going through, not knowing uh, how to live their lives now. Yes, you know, folks just you know, we we were like, okay, go back and incubate. Yes, you know, it, it, it's interesting how all of that just transpired and how all of that just um, you know, took place. You know, and. Even without jobs, right? Everything shifted. Everything. Everything shifted. How we uh, we couldn't attend church. Yep. Churches closed down. Churches closed down. Going to the supermarket. Yeah. You had to wait online. Yes. Yeah, and had to um, uh, stock up as yes. much as you could. Yeah. Everything shifted. Yeah. And most importantly, uh, because the world really shifted, but our minds had to shift because mm. we were so used to the same thing. Every Sunday you went to church, you did your Bible class on your Tuesday and Wednesday nights or whatever, yes. but you couldn't go back out to your household of faith. You couldn't go to your jobs. Yes. Jobs shifted, closed down. 
And so many things happened in that in this year, in uh, year 2020. So it was a huge shifting. Uh, the world shifted. The economy shifted. Yes. Our finances shifted. Yes. The way we worship shifted. Everything. Everything shifted. And, now, go ahead, Bishop. Mother, and, 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 you know, would you say that the shifting was also a shaking? Oh, of course. Oh, oh, yes. It was definitely, and it is still a shaking. Yes, indeed. Especially spiritually. Yes. Spiritually. And there's so many people that are going through emotionally. Yeah. Emotionally, uh, there is a shifting. And so we just want to uh, talk a little bit about the whole year, in, in the whole entire year, what's been happening in our world, in our lives, the shifting uh, one year into the pandemic. Right. And it is still going on. Amen. We're not Amen. saying the pandemic is over. We're just saying we're highlighting because it is a year that the city closed down and the world changed with this virus, the coronavirus being out. And we wanted to share some of the things that we learned and we observed. And yes. We yes. had to apply to our lives as we walked into this huge shifting. Uh, we didn't have anything to do with the shifting. The shifting just happened. Amen. So you, Amen. Had, Amen. To, you had to change your way of life. You Amen. had to change your way of thinking. But uh, yes, Bishop, it was uh, uh, a shifting and a shaking. And uh, we just want to talk a little bit about the shift. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're not warned right, right. of the shifting, you don't know what to do. You yes. don't know how to process things. And that's what happened with you. You were like, well, I'm not ready. To, I'm not trying to get online or yeah, anything. I, not at all. Yeah, You're very comfortable enjoying Bishop and enjoying yeah. yourself and yes, enjoying I your was. life. But uh, people need to hear from you, hear from the man of God. Right. They need to hear right. a word from God. Right. They need to know what, what, where was God? What's God up to? Exactly. So it was so important that you shifted and say, hey, you know, I'm going to get online. I'm going to uh, come out and speak and, and share with what we're doing and how we're maintaining even indoors for three months, our church was closed for three solid months. Yes. So we weren't able to get out. And some churches are still closed. Yes. So we are very much aware of that. Yeah. But we were in-house for three months. Yes. So your whole thinking of, of what you do every day had to shift. Yes. And let me, let me just kind of get back to, you know, me getting online and what have you. Yeah. One of the things I realized is that we needed to know where we are Biblically. Yes, yes. We need to understand what time that we were living in. And, you know, while, you know, we were sharing it amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, wait a minute, there's a lot of people out there need to know where we are. And so that's where I started. That's where you shifted. That's where I shifted, right yes. there. Yes. And I begin to get that word out, begin yes. to get that message out. Yes. So that the saints... Uh, would receive a proper shaking. Yes. So yes, that we yes. would know that, hey, wait a minute, you know, we've gotten comfortable. Mm -hmm. We got comfortable in our churches and, and and some of us have fallen asleep. Yes. Remember yes, that? Yes. You know, and we were like, no, 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 no. We need to shake, sh do some shaking here. And by telling everybody and, and going through the scriptures so that they would understand where we are. And when you understand where we are. Yes. We know what we need to be doing. Yes, yes. So it's so important that because you can't go out to your churches, that the church is in you. Yes. You are the church. Yeah. So you have to uh, understand between going out and assembling yourself with the, right. with the people of God to the God in you. Yes. So that's the way you, there's another shift. Yes. Do, do you have the God in you or, or are you uh, uh, a believer only in the building? Exactly. So we had to uh, encourage the people of God. Because we can't get out to mingle and to see each other, God is in you. There's all different ways that you can spread the gospel. Yes. And you can still be saved. You can still love the Lord, uh, although you can't get out to see each other, can't get out to your churches. God is in you. So we learn to share that through the web, through, right. through our, our conversations, that we have the Lord. Right. He's there. Yes. And we're going to share it with you. Don't, don't get discouraged because you don't have your same routine. And that's the thing that the Lord taught us as well. Because you don't have your same routine, set what you do every week, you have to, you have to remain solid in your faith. Amen. Right, right. So Bishop, you go ahead on and take the the scriptures that we're gonna go through today yes, yes. with our, our one year in with the pandemic. Yes. Amen. Yes, and, and 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 the other thing is that you know as we were saying, you have to build new routine. Yes. Because here's the thing, we were, so many people were used to going out to church and worshiping. Now you know we. 
the blessing that we had was that we always yeah. always worshiped in our home. Yes, yes, yes. We always prayed in our home. We yes. always, you know, uh, read scripture and, and what yes, have you yes. in our home. Yes. But there are many that had to learn to, to shift. Yes, and, and the, do that. And the other thing that we learned as well, uh, being at home and and going through this year. It wasn't just for the people that attend church. Right. Yes. It was right. for everybody. Absolutely. We had to learn to how to shift with our family members, Absolutely. our loved ones, even our coworkers. There were so many coworkers that needed their friendship and relationship, and it just stopped. Everything just stopped. Absolutely. So we had to learn how to shift with everything, not right. just with the church, right. but with every part of our lives, with our children, I, our families. I, yes. And that, that, was, that was so interesting yes. in that, again... You know, we became, <laughs> you know, very much aware that there are people that were also alone. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't visit your grandparents. Couldn't yeah. visit the ones that are sick. If someone became ill, you couldn't go to the hospital. And some still, you know, are still going through there. You cannot go as usual. But the great thing about this pandemic, and so the great thing, yes, God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he so is. So you don't want to get too fast because no, you don't want to go too Yes, I know it. Yes, through yes. it all, through it all, through it all. The whole year of the changing, the shifting, amen, mm -hmm. the shifting, God is still on the throne. Amen. Through all the death that has taken place. Yes. All the sickness that has gone on now and, and, and God is still on the throne. Yes. And that's the thing that we like to share on our conversations yeah. through the year. Yes, Bishop and Mother had to change. We had to shift as well. Through the year, yes. we had to learn new ways of Absolutely. communicating. Absolutely. Through the year, we had to learn new ways of getting our soul and our spiritual man met, needs Ministered. met. Yes, 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 Ministered yes, yes. to. Ministered to. Yes. We, through the year, we had to learn different ways how to stay connected. Absolutely. Amen. With our Lord and Savior. How to stay connected with each other. Yes. There's times where it was so much sadness. Yes. So much oppression. So much depression. Still now, people are depressed and they're oppressed. But we had to learn to shift. We had to learn to seek the Lord. We had to learn Absolutely. to know that the God was there. Absolutely. Amen, Bishop. Absolutely. I don't want to go too far in your yeah. scriptures. So, so, you know, you, you know we always stand on the word. Amen. This is what we use. To get us through. Yes. And one of the main verses that helped us um, with the shifting and the overcoming and, mm -hmm. and what have you. Yes. Is that we use the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. It's, it's just the, the last clause yes. in that yes. verse. Which says, I will never leave thee. Yes. Nor forsake thee yes. oh man you know because people were losing hope yes even when you feel like god was not there at all yes yes even when yes. you didn't feel it you didn't yes. sense it or you just felt like what is going on yes what has happened to our world yes but we had to stand on the word of god yes we and she said we stand on we spoke it we yes. said he said he ain't gonna leave us yes yes we continue to quote the word we continue we to can, quote that meditate word meditate on the word yes it, we don't know what's going on lord we have so many what you call it bishop conspiracy theories Con oh or? all kind of conspiracy theories yes. all kind of things being said yes but, you know, is it, what we did, we trusted in the name of our yes. Lord, our God. We trusted in his word. Yes. And even the fact that we had to ship with getting food and, yes. and all these different things. We we kept saying, he won't leave us. He won't leave us. He will never he, leave he'll us. He'll never he leave us. He'll forsake never us. forsake us. Yes, Lord. You know, look. We were losing family members. Yes. We were losing friends. Yes. We, we, you know, all different loved ones. And, yes, yes. And, and we weren't losing everybody to, to uh, coronavirus. Yes. No, yes, we weren't. Yes, 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 And we still are not, you know. Yes. Different things happen. Uh, but that was part of it. Yes. And we were losing all these different ones. Mm -hmm. But we, could all, we always went back to, he'll never. He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake He'll us. He'll never forsake us. And 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 let me let me explain something to you about that. What for us, quoting that brought us back to the peace of God. Yes. 
didn't it? Yes, it did. It brought back to the peace of God because yes. it brings a, a calmness on you. Yes. Whereas, you know, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, he, oh, he, oh, he, he's not going to leave us. And, he, and Bishop, your mind is not running away. At first, when it first happened, you felt the symptoms. You felt all kinds of things in your body. Yes. You felt weak. You felt sick. You didn't know what was going on. But after a while, you said, okay, wait a minute. I have to trust the Lord in this. Yes. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the, the, you couldn't even go to your doctor's couldn't office. Couldn't go to your doctor's you, office or you, anything. You, you try to make an appointment. They wanted to, to over the phone. So we learned to, to settle in ourselves. Yes. Seek the Lord. Yes. Quote his word. Meditate on what he said. I mm -hmm. won't leave you. We don't understand what's going on, Lord. This world is, oh, uh, it's, it's. It uh, looked crazy. Yes. But we, we learned to say, uh, we trust you. Do yes. it all. Do it all. Yes. We trust you. And the thing about it, as we began to build our faith, yes. we were able to build others' faith. Exactly. That would call. Exactly. That would say, Bishop, Mother, what's going on? Exactly. You know, we just go back to the Word. Exactly. We know that we are in perilous times. Yes. We know that things are going to get hard. It's going to get worse. Yes. But this was a surprise to everyone. To everybody. Yes. You yes. know? We were blessing the Lord on March 16, 2020, shouting and praising God, mm -hmm. and the following Sunday, Everything was closed Everything down. Was no, shut down. no one goes to church. Everything. Why? 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 There was hardly no answers. CDC didn't know what they was talking yep. about. Yeah. They were kind of it confused. But at the same time, God was still on the throne. Amen. This didn't surprise Amen. the Lord at all. It didn't and that's surprise what we had to go back to. Bit. We knew our heavenly Father knows all things. Amen. We knew that God knew this before we any man would know. So we learned through this whole year, pandemic. The one year later. We're still standing on our faith in God. Yes. And the thing that, and I'll share this and then I'll, you can go back to the scripture, that the things that I learned through the pandemic, Bishop, was I don't need as much as I thought I needed. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. that the truth? Yes, yes. Lord taught me a few things in this pandemic. You don't need as much as you think. Y you really don't. You really don't. And that includes your materialistic, the clothing, all the things that you have in your home, you know, the thing that you piled up and saved up. Yes. I'm learning just to take everything out the closets, things that I don't use, things that I don't, I pile up for what? Exactly. I, we didn't use it. Yes. We didn't need it. Through this pandemic, it taught me something. Make sure that you, your mental is intact. Right. Make sure your heart is right. Yes. Make sure your soul is right. Amen. You know, all the other things, you know, is, is, is sort of minute when you're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, when you're in trouble, you, you you can't eat. You're not worried about how many clothes you have in your closet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When you can't figure out what's going on in my body, you're not worried too much about how much money you got. Exactly. You just want to get better. You want to feel better. You want to know what's going on. So some of the things that I learned through this pandemic, that's just one thing, is that I don't need as much as I thought I did. Right. I just want to stay silent in my mind and my love and my walk with the Lord. Well, you're going to talk about some other things in the scriptures, how we how we walk through the scripture yes. in this one year yes. and yet still walking through it. Amen. We are not letting up. Amen. Let me say this before we go to the next part, because uh, the CDC and our cities and states are letting up on not wearing a mask. And they, that doesn't mean you get wild and go back to your ways. Exactly. Go ahead, Bishop. Yeah. You know, we, we do need to take out precautions. Yes. You do need, uh, to use good sense. sense. Yes. You know, it, 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 using good sense doesn't mean that you don't have faith. Yes. Make sure, make sure you be wise in this. Be wise, yes. you know. Yes, yes, yes. You know. And also be, have empathy for people that has lost others. Absolutely. And yet are in the hospital that are sick and people that are home that are sick, people that are struggling mentally. There are so many mental situations that's going on. The enemy Amen. is attacking our minds and attacking, yes. attacking our thought pattern and trying yes. to get us to, to give up and to, to just be confused. But we want to say that through this whole year, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is really, yes, really. Yes, he's I mean, so faithful. Extremely Thank faithful. You, but before we dig, dig, yes, dig into that, yes, you know, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know we, had, we, we went into some shifting. Yes. Things changed quickly, and then we had to adjust. Yes. But do y'all remember how we were bombarded with the news, and, and there was so much fear yes. being spread, and yes. people were really needed to turn their televisions off because oh, yes. they were going through depression. Mentally they were health. being filled with fear yes. and, and all those things. So that that those things came and, and and we had to find a way to overcome overcome 
Yes, Overcome Lord. what, Bishop? The fears. We had to overcome Lord, our hesitancy yes. to move or yeah. to do, to go out. You know, it's, even to think about the future. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and so those are things, and then people went into depression because of all yes. that, and we had to overcome yes. the depression and the pray and, people and, and, through. Yes. yes, we had to pray people through. When you're losing loved ones and you're going to this sadness and this hurt, and you're like, when is it gonna end? And you, 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 you were filled up. Yes, so many of us were. Yes, you know, and we lost a lot of people too. Yes, we did. But, but. Again, mm -hmm. we had to overcome. Yes, what do we do, Bishop? Lord, the scripture taught us that we should cast our care. Ah, upon, upon who? Him. him. This is First Peter chapter 5 and verse 7. Why? Because who's he and him? We're talking about the Lord. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you yes. something. You, you're going to need more than your ability to have intuition. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because sometimes, you look, look, intuition or not. You need some hope. Yeah, glory to That's God. That's beyond your own ability because your own abilities uh, becomes limited. Yeah. And we had a, an, an old saying. We said um, that 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 um, man's extremities mm -hmm. is Lord have is God's That's opportunity. opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, when you reach your last yes. and you, you can't do nothing else, reach your limit. Yeah. You reach your limit. You need something. And or someone yes, rather, Bishop. yes, someone that you can believe in, and that you can trust them, and that you can cat. Look, 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 you can't hold all these burdens. Yes, cast we were not the meant for that. Thank you, Lord. We were not meant for that. Yes, and I'm telling we two of us, we weren't. We I know. Ca we, I, we was look, casting our care. We were casting our care. How you cast your care? We prayed. Yes, and we just left it to the Lord. We, we, we put it on the Lord. Yes, for He careth for us. He careth mm. for you. Yes, so many say, I don't believe, Mother Bishop, I just feel like I'm by myself. No, the Lord cares for you. Yes. And through the pandemic. Yes. yes. Because through the pandemic, there were so many blessings. Oh, the my pandemic. goodness. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Even even with ooh. all the the despair. Yes. There were so many blessings and so many miracles. Yes. So we cast our cares on him for he careth for you. He careth for us. He cares. So we learn to meditate on that word, speak that word. There was time we had to speak it out loud just to just to yes. let our own selves hear the word of the Amen. Lord. Amen. And we saw through, even through all of this, there was so much food in abundance. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. There in was the, food out there. In abundance. In abundance. Giving away food. We did a lot of food pantries. Yes. We gave out food. Even here in our home, we gave out food. Yes. In abundance. And don't forget the stimulus checks. Look. Look, some some of you did better. Yes, through the pandemic. <laughs> through the pandemic, than you were doing. Yes, just when you were just going to work, going every, to work day. every day. Some of you don't be don't be look don't yes. act like you don't know what we're talking about. Unemployment kept unemployment coming in. was coming in for so many of us, and so many of our and jobs was lost. Bitch. You lost your job. I, I sure did. But God, you became an entrepreneur. I sure and did. Your mother came out. Listen, My, praise God. Yes. <laughs> Mother became an entrepreneur. <laughs> Amen. She sure did. <laughs> Praise God. So through all of this, God was still on the throne. And I don't yes. say that because I have to tell myself that. Sometimes, you know, a little doubt came in. I said, oh, no. God is on the throne. Amen. Amen. The throne. Amen. I'm, Amen. Not, I'm casting my cares on you, Father. Yes. God. So what's going on? One year <sighs> through the pandemic. One, one year, year later. One year later through the pandemic. What are you doing? We, we learned to shift. Yes, we learn. We learn to, to shift. You know, we talk about that shifting, just like with us. Yes. We start, having businesses started. Yes. Yes, indeed. Through, you know, through it all. The Lord gave you witty invention. Yes, Lord. He, he showed you what to do. Yes, He taught you how to cook. Some people became yes. chefs and great cooks. Yes. In the pandemic, some people just started up things that they had in their hearts for years to uh, to uh, create a job, yep. create a business for themselves. The Lord allowed that even through all the sadness that was going on. Yes. All the lonely nights. Yes. All the uncertainty of what's going to happen if I go out and I might bring this virus back into my home. Yes. All, even through all the sickness that was on our bodies, in our bodies. Yes. The Lord been faithful. Hallelujah. Yes. The Lord is faithful. Amen. He's a faithful God. So we learn to cast our cares on him. We cast he our told care him, on he, him. He said, I care for you. Yes. Even in this, I care for you. But we want to make sure that people understand that 
oh, this was a pandemic and now everything is bad. No, 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 no. There was pestilence. There are yes. pestilence in the land. Yes. And again, I got to remind everybody, yeah, we want to get back to normal. It ain't no normal. It's not normal anymore. No normal. We're, we're not going back to what we were. Yes. Understand that. We're not going back to everything that we were. Uh, it, it, it's changed for life. Yes. You know, listen, you, you hear the word new normals, mm -hmm. new normals. Listen, we are being conditioned. Remember, you know, we, we talked the scripture and we talked about that there's going to be a what? A one world government. Yes. Um, a one world religion. Yes, currency. Uh, a one world currency. Mm -hmm. All of that is falling in place. Yeah. Are you listening? Yes. We talk about the mark of the beast, which is a one world currency, etc. Uh -huh. It is also a one world identification. Yes. It's all of those things that are happening. Think about it. They're already talking about uh, um, having a, uh, what is it? Uh, a chip? No, not just a chip, but, you know, in order to get on planes. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, you, gotta, you have to have the vaccine. You can have the vaccine ID, yes, you know, yeah. all these kind of things, you know. And, you know, okay, I don't want to get into that. While we're bringing this up, we're living in the last days. That that's The why. Bible is fulfilling. That's why. This that's is what perilous time. This is why we're bringing up. There is got to happen. This is the beginning of sorrow, this we believe. This is it. This so, is it. So understand that we, we've gone going through a pandemic and God is so faithful. He's yet keeping us he, through, he is. through everything. But remember now, we got to walk circumspectly. What it mean? Wise. Right. Saints of God, look up for your redemption joy. It draws nigh. Don't it draws get comfortable nigh. because you can go back to the church. You're going to get no. comfortable because you can no. go back to the movies. No. Don't get comfortable because you can go back out to the restaurants and have fun. You always keep your eyes on the prize. Amen. The Lord is coming back. Re our redemption is drawing yes, nigh. Yes, look, look, there's an awakening of us as yes, a people. As a people. Not, not just us realizing that we're Israelites, but the Gentiles are waking up to us being as, Israelites. Yes. And they talk talking about it too, you know, they're, okay. they're, they're warning one another. No, no, don't treat them folks the way you've been. You better watch it. Yes. You know? These are God's oh, people. These are God's people, mm -hmm. you know, and they, we're waking up and they're waking up. And, and so this is an, in, we're in the end times. Yes. So yes. as much as we talk about everything that has happened yes, and how we have shifted yes. and how we have survived and how many of you have survived. Yes. It, it's it, it is an awakening. It is a time yes. now that we know we're not going back to normal, mm -mm. but what we're going is forward. Yes, we are. We're recognizing. Okay, the, the last days. We're in perilous times now. Yeah. Yes, and we need to not just shift with building our businesses, which we've been doing, and having income even while we sleep. Yes, but we have to also shift as it relates to. I need to have my soul right. Ooh, Bishop, you just said it. I need to, you know, be right with Align God. Align yourself with God. Mother, that was just yes. the perfect way to put it. Align yourself. Yes. Align yourself. That, is, that needs to be the mindset, all right? Yes. Now, we have that mindset, but there are those that are looking at the time that we're living in and looking at this whole past year. What was that all about? Is You know what that was all about? Wake up. Wake up. Mm-hmm. That's like we were sharing on yesterday. God is gathering. He's calling you. Yep. It's up to you to take that, uh, answer that call. Yep. Listen, we never had a pandemic before like this. Not this, quite like this. In this magnitude. He's calling you. So while we're shifting, while we're coming back and we're feeling good about ourselves, the Lord is calling. He's touching your hearts. He's calling. Yes, he's calling. So it's up Jesus to you. Jesus is calling. Yes, he is. It's up to you to say, yes, Lord. Why are we saying, uh, we, we're casting our cares on him. We're trusting the Lord. Amen. You have to get in line with God. Yes. He left you yes. here for a reason. Yes. It's time for you to get in line with God. As we said, why are we sharing a conversation for one year during the pandemic? Because we're trying to uh, uh, sound the alarm. It's time for you to answer to the call, yeah. the holy yeah. call. It's Amen. not Bishop. enough. Thank to, you, Lord. To, okay, we're okay now. We're no, okay we're now. not okay. Wait, you're not okay. Uh, it's, your, it's your soul, right? <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. glory to God. Hello. Thank you, no. Jesus. Are you ready? Is it, how, how does it say? Um, will you be ready? Uh-huh. When Jesus comes again. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Will you? Thank you, Lord. Be ready. ready. Thank you, when Jesus. he comes again. Yes, this is what you it's know, all about. That's really what it's that's about. That's what it's you know? about. Yeah, we're, we're, we're rehearsing this year, you know, that's gone over and all the fear and everything. This, yes. that, and the other came. 
But will you be ready? Will you be ready? Did this pandemic shake your soul? Did it shake your spirit? We're hoping it did. Yes, did it stir your mind up? We're hoping Glory it did. Glory to God. Did it say, Lord, I want to be ready? We're hoping Glory you were saying that. Glory to God. Lord, I don't know what to do, but I want to be ready when you call my name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. So one year later. One year later. Yes. Lord have mercy. You know, we, we've, uh, you know we've, we've, we've shifted. Yes. We've been able to overcome, uh -huh. and God has lifted many of us out of that fog of depression, yes, out of that fog of uncertainty, of despair, you know, out of that fog of despair, yes. I mean, the, the, out of that that fog of, oh, how am I going to get my needs met? Yes, you know, We're just plain how to survive. Just yes. yes, we've come out of that. Thank you, Lord. And and uh, you know what I'm so grateful for. You know, we always tell everybody about you know. This is how we survive, and it's the word of God, and and it's our trusting, and yes. our, our our dependency on God. Yes, and how that it brings a calmness to your mind. Yes, and so you can hear Him, and you can, and th then He can give you strategies, and all of that's wonderful. But but the most important thing, as we already said, yes. was that you be saved. Yes, you know, and that you trust the Lord. For your salvation, yes. You know, it's not, you know, we, we run into all kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but 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 the, the fact is, we do have a sin problem in our world, in our lives, mm -hmm. and you will see that more and more as you see how things are just um, forming. Yes. If you read the Word of God, yes. you will see. Oh wait a minute! This mm -hmm. is not a fairy tale. Mm -mm. Wait a minute! Get somebody, give me a Bible. You know, yes. you know. Wait a minute! This, 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 I've word, heard this before. The word of the Lord is true. You know, and you're finding out this, as Mother just said, the word of the Lord is true. Yes, God and is so, coming back. So, yes, so, he is. so through this year, through going through all this, we want to find ourselves trusting. Yes. Why? You know, there's a blessing in trusting, not myself. Trust in the Lord. Not in my job. Hello. Mm -hmm. Not in my ability to take care of things because because all that gets stripped. Oh, you know, well, I got skills, you know. I know how to get out there. No. You couldn't even get out. Couldn't even get out at some point. Yes. You know, I trust in my doctors. They've got it all. No, they don't. You couldn't even get to your doctors. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Think about that. You know, uh, oh, you know, uh, you had to be creative sometime with the little food that you had. Yes, you did. Because you couldn't trust the ability to be able to get to it because you couldn't get to it. Yes, yes. And there were so many things like that mm -hmm. that, that, that have failed us. Yes. But, but I, I want you to know. Come on, Bishop. There's no failure in God. Our trust was in Him. Our trust is in Him. Is in the living God. Come on now. And there's a blessing there. The scripture, my, one of my favorite scriptures is about trusting God is uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, uh, 17. 17 and verse 7 and 8. Yes. You know, and I just want to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Because this, again, let me come back again before I read it. This is what helped us. Yes, Lord. This is what helped us. And... Oh my gosh. I'll Go tell ahead, Bishop. Let, before I, let me read the word. It, it says, Blessed is the man, or woman, boy, mm -hmm. girl. Yes. Or the, even those that are confused. Come on, Bishop. Blessed is the man that Trust. trusts in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute now. And then it says, and whose hope the Lord is. Who's your hope? Mm -hmm. Who's your hope? Now, it says, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the, the Lord, Lord is. is. Yes. Now, check this out. Now, check this out. Watch, watch, look what he says here. Go ahead, baby. Here's the blessing. For he shall be as a tree mm -hmm. that's planted by the waters. Yes. And that spread it out her roots Come on. by the river. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. It says, and shall not See when he cometh. Why? Because the water is, is, is receiving moisture. Yes. Look, but her leaf shall be green. It shall not be careful in the year of drought. Mm -hmm. Neither shall cease 
from yielding mm-hmm. fruit. Let me tell you. Look, look here, look here. You can, here. Trust you can, you can trust them. You, you got to trust them. You got to trust them. You got to be planted like a tree. Like, like a tree. Planted in your faith in the Lord. Yes, you got to be like a tree. Yes, God. But we had no income. That's right. But guess what? The Lord fixed it. <laughs> every, every bill paid. Yes, every God. bill paid. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, oh, Jesus. Every bill was paid. God opened up doors that we knew not of. Thank you, Lord. God made ways. And, and, and you know what? We're still getting paid off those same blessings. Yes, Amen. Yes, we are. Amen. Blessed Amen. Blessed the man that trusted That's, the Lord. Oh, let me tell you. Let blessed. me tell you. Blessed in our health. Thank you, Jesus. In our mind. Yes. In our marriage. Yes. Listen, in our relationship, you know, with our children and, and, and our family members. Yes. In ministry. Mm-hmm. You know, we kept doing the work of the Lord throughout this whole pandemic. Yes, shelter ministry. Shelter ministry. Taking food to the Taking women and children and shelter. Clothing yes. to them. Uh, outreach know? ministry for yes. the community. Yeah, we blessed the community. The Lord blessed us to bless the community. Yes, Amen. Food. Giving out food. Yes, giving out coats and things of that nature. And, and God blessed us. Yes. It was like, where did this come from, Lord? Yes. It's coming from you. Yes, we trust in him. We trust in him. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. Blessed. Whose hope the Lord, Lord is. is. He's yes. our hope. So through this year, through this year, during the pandemic. Yes. The uncertainty. We were trusting yes. in the Lord. Yes, we trusting were. Trusting in the Lord. Planting our faith in him like a tree planted. Planted by, by the, the waters. waters. Yes, Lord. You got to plant your faith in God. Yes. You don't see how it's going to work out. You don't know how. Yes. Plant your faith in God. Plant your we, faith, baby. As Bishop stated before earlier, we had our trust. We had our hope in Jesus. Yes, we spoke we did. the word. We cast our cares on Him. Amen. Jeremiah seventeen. We trusted and we we trusted in God through it all. We said, Lord, we put our trust in you. Yes. We put our hope in you. Yes. Somebody said, How you guys been doing through this year? We try to show you. We had we had our hope, our trust. Uh, everything in Lord, in the Lord's hand. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So now we're still believing and trusting God. And now we're seeing the overflow. Yeah, we're living See? in an overflow yes. right now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Glory to God. Just trust him. Yes. If you don't know how, just sit in a quiet place and say, Lord, help me to trust you. Yes. Help me to trust you. I don't know what's going to happen. Yes. We don't know what's going to happen. Help us to trust you. Yes. You supply all of our needs according yes. to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. Help me to trust you, Lord. I don't understand what's going to happen to me, but I trust that you're going to take care of me. Amen. I Amen. trust that you're going to be right there through it all, God. Yes. And this is some of the things that we did for the whole year. Trusting the Lord. Trust about, oh, you going to church? Yes, I have my yep. mask. I have my mask, mask on. Mask, everything. I'm sanitizing all that. Yes. yes, I'm going to praise the Lord. Yes, I am. <laughs> Social distancing. Yes, I and am. We did it anyway. Yes, I am. I'm going to praise the Lord. Yes. Praise You've been God. good. Yes, I'm not walking in fear. I'm walking in faith. Amen. You know, some people say, oh, you going to church? Yeah, but you yep. went to the supermarket. Uh oh. Are you going? Wait a minute, mother. You know how I go off sometimes. Go on in there. Yes, are you going to church, mother? Yes, I'm going to church. You went out, didn't you? Did you have your doctor's appointment? Yeah, I made. Okay. They made it. Yes, I'm going to church. I'm trying to I'm trying to stir up somebody's faith. Oh, I can't go to the church house because the pandemic is out. Listen, did anybody stop you from going to get your food? Did anybody stop you from going to the doctor's office? Come on here. Some of y'all just lazy. Some of y'all just want to hide at the house. I have to tell you. Uh-oh. Get out that house. Walk in faith. Lord, I'm coming to your house. I'm not worried about getting sick. I trust you. I'm and I'm not gonna be silly. Amen. I'm not going to go in there with no mask on, and I'm not going to be hanging over everybody. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to so praise the Lord to the saints of God. Amen. We can hit the elbows or whatever. <laughs> but let me tell you now, Satan got some of y'all bound. And bound. you're scared to come out. You need to come out. It's all right to be home for a little while, but don't forget to forsake to assemble yourself together. Yes. You need that connection. Not forsaking it. You, you need it. You, you need the connection. And, the, and there's something. I mean, I tell you. You know, we did a lot of worshiping, you know, online. We did a lot. Yeah. But let me tell you something. There's nothing like in person, baby. That in person worship. I tell you, there's nothing like it. He said, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. We weren't intended to be by ourselves. Yes. Yes. You're correct, Bishop. You got to break out. Amen. And another thing, too. Because of the pandemic, and I'm going to say this with all sincerity, there's a lot of people have the excuse that, Church is not church. I want to do something else. 
So this was a good <clears throat> excuse for you not to go back to church and go somewhere else. Exactly. Follow some other false doctrine and false teaching. So I just want to say something to you. Don't try to use the <clears throat> pandemic as I can't go to my church home because you're sneaking out somewhere. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're sneaking out somewhere going to somebody else's churches. I just want to say that because I, a lot of people have said to us, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going back to my church because I'm not feeling it anymore. Watch yourself. Don't get caught up in the traps of Satan. Watch yourself. You 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 know what the word of the Lord say. You know what God is saying. You got to walk holy. You got to live right. Don't be having no itching ears trying to hear what everybody's saying. Get in this word. Stay yes. silent before the Lord. But I want to encourage the saints of God that are still fearful about going to the house of Lord. The house of Lord is a hospital. Hello. Come on here. That's what some of us, we should have had church open 24-7. Should have never been closed down. That's Absolutely. where we get our strength. Yes. Uh, it, it shut us down. But God didn't shut us down. He didn't shut us down in here. No, he didn't. And I want to no, encourage you. Get up. It's getting nice and warm outside. Get to the house of the Lord. Yes. Find yourself on your knees praying. I know we haven't stopped praying because we have prayer calls all the time. All the 6 time. 6 a.m. prayer call. Monday night prayer call. Amen. Prayer during the week. I'm telling you, get back out. Get back out to your churches. Get back out there and praise the Lord like you never praised them before. Amen. If it's your last, act like it's your last time. Ooh, praise God like it's your last time. Yes. Amen. Bishop, I know you got some more. And you will experience a refreshing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you'll you, You'll experience a refreshing. Yes, Lord. One year later. One year later. How are we later. doing in this pandemic? Yes, indeed. We're moving forward. Yes, we are. Yes, yes we are. And so, again, you know, we, we don't want to, you know, carry this too long. Amen. Amen. Y'all know we can go. We love you. Y'all know we can Especially go. Especially when you get mother on the phone <laughs> with you. <laughs> Amen. Lord, help us, Jesus. Yes. So again, you know, yeah, a lot has happened. Yes. And a, and a lot is going to happen. Yes. Our trust. Yes. Is in the Lord. Yes. He shows you how to shift. Yes. He gives you the ability to overcome. Yes. As long as you trust Him. Ah, hallelujah. And we, uh, again, as always, encourage you to be born again. Mm -hmm. How do you do that, Bishop? Mm. You do it through repenting yes. of your sins. Being baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ for the remission of your sins. Amen. And then be filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of the Lord our God gives you the utterance. And so, you know, Mother Walters and I love you. Amen. We want to see you saved. Amen. We want to see you safe. Amen. We want you to be able to get up Praise God. In that first resurrection. Ooh, come on, Amen. Bishop. Get up in that first Because that's one. what that rapture is. Thank it you, is that Jesus. first, it's the end of the first resurrection. Come on. We want you to get up. My God. Amen. Yes. We want you to be changed yes. from mortal to immortality. immortality. Yes. If, you, if, if, you, if you've already gone on before it comes, we want you, your corruptible. Ah. To put on incorruption. incorruption. Come on here, Bishop. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That that death will be swallowed up in victory. Come on, Bishop. Ah, death, where is your sting? Mm, mm, mm. Ah, my God, my grave, God. where is your victory? victory yes. Listen, we're going to be changed in a moment. Hallelujah. In the twinkling Thank you, Jesus. of an eye. Yes. At the last. Come on, Bishop. Mm. Listen, mm. for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ yes, are going to rise, rise first. first. Yes. Then we, which are alive and remain, are going to be caught up to meet, meet him, him in the, the air. air. Yes. We want you to get up in this Come resurrection. Come on here. Come on here. We want you to go with him yes. in this resurrection. Yes. Are you listening to Thank me? Thank you, Lord. We love you, and we want to see you saved. Yes. And we want to say, may the Lord bless you. Yes. May he smile upon you. May he be gracious unto you. Mm. And may he give you peace. What do you mean, Bishop? Yes. May the Lord bless you. Yes. Even until the time that we'll come to you again. Amen. This is Bishop yes. and Mother Walters signing off. Thank you. God bless you. God Contact bless. us. 
In Jesus' name, we love you. Amen. Bye-bye.